Hi everybody, we are replacing a subframe on this episode of Revy Workshop. I got this uh, subframe from my friend Eric and also uh, my cousin Kevin who helped me get it. So here we have it. We have uh, this, this side here was um, the passenger side was, was uh, hit pretty badly. And uh, on the bottom here, we can see uh, this, uh, this scuff mark right here, which pretty much shows that uh, this whole subframe has been shifted uh, inward. And uh, when the wheel is on, it's pretty noticeable that the wheel is not centered in the, um, in the, uh, the wheel well. You probably notice it right there with the with the rotor that it's not censored. Now if we take this and we look on the other side, I'm sure you can definitely tell the difference there. This obviously the uh, the steering knuckle is much more uh, censored on this side, and um, there's no uh, scuff mark obviously uh, on the uh, on the chassis. And now this caliper comes off just like so. Let it hang there for a minute. And then you turn the rotor towards you. And this is a this is a fixed rotor, which means that this cap comes off here and there's a, a bearing and stuff inside of there. You just take your channel locks and you pop this cap off. Or you can also get in here with a flathead screwdriver and pop this off also. Popped off this uh, this dust cap. And off it comes. Put that on the side and you see here, hey, you've got your uh, your cutter pin right here, and your uh, castrated nut, and here's your uh, your washer, and your um, outer bearing is behind this washer. So, grab our wire cutters and take out this cutter pin. And I just throw that away because I don't I don't reuse cotter pins, so I always uh, put fresh in. So you got this castle in there with your channel locks. There's a castellated nut right here. You can view that. Okay. And the washer for the um, inner for the uh, outer bearing is the uh, the washer. And here's the, uh, the outer bearing. This is over here. And this rotor can slide right off. And here we have um, the. Uh, <coughs> the uh, inner bearing right here and this is a seal. I will be replacing the seal and I'm going to wash and clean up the uh, inner bearing. I'm going to put this aside. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take off I'm going to put this behind me now. Next thing I'll do is there's three screws. One here, here, and another one over here. 
I'm going to take them off and take this uh, plate off. Those are 10 millimeter uh, screws. I'm sorry, they were actually 7 16 Put these aside. Actually, I'm going to now this is really important because this plate has to face inside. This is the way it is. So if you put it on the wrong way, it's going to scrape against the rotor. So that's important. Put that over there. And just to not miss any parts, we're going to put these screws back where they back where they were. That's going to get interesting because next the uh, this the sway bar link has to come out. Well, just just the um, the uh, end link has to come out. Okay, so I got a ratchet on the bottom, and I got a uh, impact socket up on the top. And actually, we'll try it without the swivel. This may be allowed, so. Make sure your garage is going in the right direction. That way it stops the bolt from turning. That worked out well. Did I get the nut out of the socket? It kind of got stuck in there. It was rushing quite a bit. I can take that out. I'll probably be able to knock that out later on. Let's see. Put this back on so I could bang that through. Just sort of reassemble the pieces back together. That way, we don't lose anything. So, next step, that's then we're going to work on getting that uh, outer tie rod end out. Get the right size socket for that. And Let's hit this with the gun and hopefully it'll all come out one piece, one shot. That's being a little bit stubborn. So. Right, I'm just going to leave this here like this for now because uh, I can always take off this steering knuckle with that attached and just move this out of the way. So I got this um, this coil spring uh, compressor. Basically it looks like this here. So I got this and then it uh, goes up into the coil spring and it compresses it. So. Right, well, I wasn't able to record getting the um, strut compressor in, but uh, it is in. You can see the bottom of it right there. That's a metal tip right there. So the coil spring compressor is in. I'm going to take the um, these two bolts up for the uh, for the strut now. I have the right uh, side sockets out here for that. 
Надежда. So all this is in preparation for doing this uh, subframe. Because this suspension has to come out, then I have to um, work on the top and uh, get the um, the bolts, off, the, um, the motor mounts off, and the uh, the brake line has to come off the uh, the subframe also. And it put the um, engine stands in place to support the engine while uh, that's coming out. To un take off the um, the lower ball joint also. There's a carter pin holding in the lower ball joint, so that's got to come off. Well, I thought I was recording, but apparently I wasn't. But um. I basically took uh, these two bolts out here, and um, then the, um, the steering knuckle came out, and then this is the uh, compressor that I'm trying to, still trying to get out. But I may, I'm, I'm probably just going to take those bolts there, and this out, and uh, let the lower control arm come out. Still cranking on this... Uh, Short compressor, and then get spring compressor to get this thing out. It's a lot. I'm only using the 19 millimeter wrench because it's advised not to use an impact gun on this thing. I have a long way to go. I just don't want to use an impact on the bottom because if this thing shoots out, that's not going to be good. So. Alright. So now that everything is out and I'm sorry you couldn't see all this because of me working on the ground but we are about ready to drop this lower control on so I can actually move this out of the way and over here and uh, do that because um, actually I'm going to need to take these other parts off to uh, make the ground clearance for the um, for the subframe to come down. So I'm going to try to take off this uh, castrated nut. That way I can take this uh, string up. And I know you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing, so... There's going to be a lot of editing in this video. A bunch of stuff I'm doing that you're not going to be able to see. Unfortunately... I'm trying to be able to record as much as possible on these videos. Uh. That was a castle not on the lower ball joint I just took off. On the lower, you know, this and the steering knuckle. So leave it there and 
This is going to pop off and it's going to give me a problem. Yeah, that's off. All right. It's off. And then I could uh, come on over and uh, actually hang this up somewhere. But we will be out of the way. See ya. That works out. So there you have it. As good as I can show you, the whole front end of the uh, car taken apart in preparation for the uh, subframe to uh, come out. Now up top, which we're not going to get into today, but uh, we've got um, the the brake lines, and we got a couple bolts in there uh, for taking the um, subframe apart. Not exactly sure if I'm going to be able to record the rest of this process, but uh, um, it's just a matter right now of taking the bolts off for the uh, for the subframe, which I'll show you in the carport, and the bolts holding the uh, the brake line onto the subframe. I'll show you them also. So that's it for now. Um, hopefully this video came out okay, and uh, I will see you on the next one. Have a good one.